As we track all the major developments, including Health Secretary Alex Azar's announcement on GMA earlier today that Moderna's vaccine is expected to get that FDA green light perhaps later today, let's take a look at the rising COVID-19 case tally from Johns Hopkins University. Now more than 75 million confirmed cases worldwide, at least 17 million of those right here in the U.S. And now more than 311,000 American lives lost in the coronavirus pandemic. And Jen, we also have some promising news of the vaccine, though, as well, coming with Moderna's data being presented to the FDA yesterday and the independent committee unanimously voting that it should receive emergency use authorization. There are some slight differences between this and the Pfizer vaccine we want to break down. Exactly, Tom, and we are expecting to see the FDA move towards emergency use authorization, but some subtle differences. So let's do a deep dive on this Moderna vaccine. Uh, what we know at this point, this is another vaccine based on mRNA technology. It is two doses, just like the Pfizer vaccine. These, however, 28 days apart. This one also has the potential for wider and easier distribution because it can be stored in normal refrigerators, doesn't require that extreme cold storage in terms of the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, it is expected to be authorized for use in people 18 years of age and over. And the clinical trial data thus far, Tom, suggests that there may be an immune response. It may start working soon after the first dose, although obviously the full two dose regimen will be important. Okay, all very promising information there, Jen, but a big question a lot of people want to know, what are the side effects or what do we know about the side effects with this vaccine? Well, they're going to be tracking, Amy, the possibility of allergic reactions. They have not seen any uh, severe allergic reactions in the clinical trials with this vaccine thus far. Uh, there were three cases of Bell's palsy, which occurs in background rate as well. We've seen it with other vaccines, a temporary paralysis of uh, the facial nerve. That occurred in three people who had gotten the vaccine and one who had gotten placebo. So very, very rare, unlikely, not life-threatening, but with anything, they will be tracking that very closely. Okay, Dr. Jen, we thank you for your analysis. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.